Hi everybody, I'm Maxime Bonnier, I'm a senior developer advocate at MongoDB, I'm based in France, and today I want to talk to you about Java, Atlas Search, Spring Boot, and Spring Data MongoDB. Today I want to show you how to make Atlas Search work in this context through REST API. So let's get started. So today uh, I want to do this presentation actually with the support of this blog post that was published online recently. Uh, you're going to find in this blog post a lot more information than what I'm going to share today, uh, especially around Atlas Search. If you want more details about Atlas Search, I recommend you read this blog post or you check out the MongoDB documentation online. Uh, all the code I'm going to present to you today is available in this repository in the MongoDB developer organization in uh, GitHub. Uh, so check it out. I recommend that you git clone the repository and you follow along uh, as I'm doing this presentation. So first of all, Atlas Search, we need an index. We need a configure. We need a cluster in MongoDB Atlas, and we need a, an index. So let's create that right now. I already created a cluster, which is an M0 sandbox, which is free forever. So if you don't have one, you should uh, you should get started soon. And uh, for this presentation, I'm going to use the uh, load sample data set here. So I'm going to use the uh, sample database, uh, sample MFlix uh, movies database that is in this uh, sample data set. So you have to load this and then you can browse collections and we can check out this sample MFlix movies collection. So just if you don't know about it, uh, it's a very simple collection that represents movies. You have plot. Uh, titles, full plot, you have uh, year publication, EMDB ratings, etc. etc. So, uh, what I want to do now is implement full text search using Atlas Search. So, all you have to do is click here on Search Index, and I'm going to create my very first search index in this cluster. So, I'm going to click on Create, I'm going to click on JSON Editor, why not? I'm going to click on Next. As you can see, I'm keeping everything by default except the name because I want to show you uh, some details in the code. So I'm going to call it, because it's a dynamic uh, mapping, I'm going to call it dynamic, right? Uh, just stay very simple here and I'm just keep, I keep everything by default, all the options. I click next, I review, I'm happy with that. So I create my search index. I'm all set, that's perfect. I'm just going to click on close. Uh, and MongoDB Atlas will build this in a few seconds, I'm sure. Now we can switch to the code and we can check what's, uh, what's in there. So first of all, uh, let's check the pom.xml file. So uh, as you can see, I have a parent, um, parent file, which is a Spring Boot starter parent. I'm using Java 17 and I'm using three dependencies uh, with one that is optional actually. First one is Spring Boot, second one here is Spring Data MongoDB, and the third one is a Swagger, if you want some uh, documentation using Swagger. So you don't need this one if you don't want Swagger. And the last one is to be able to build a fat jar if you want to, to use a jar as a packaging uh, mechanism. Okay, now that we have this, of course, we need to be able to start our application. So we start with the basic, the annotation Spring Boot application, and a very basic main that just starts the application. Now I need a MongoDB a connection. So for this, we need a few things in the properties files. So we need a MongoDB URI, which we're gonna retrieve in a minute from Atlas. We need a database, a default database. So for us, it's sample underscore mflix. And we need the search index name, which for us is dynamic though. Um, now in the MongoDB configuration uh, here, as you can see, and zoom a little. You can see that I'm using the database, sample mflix, and the URI that I retrieve from the config file. From this, I can overwrite get database name, which is required for, uh, which is um, an, um, an overwrite from the abstract Mongo client configuration, which I'm using here. And I have to create a bin, which is a Mongo client settings which is going to be used to create the uh, Mongo client and Mongo template by Spring Data MongoDB. And as you can see here, I'm just using a very basic configuration. I'm basically just passing the connection string. That's it, nothing fancy. Um, okay, then I can create my controller. In my controller, 
I have the REST controller and request mapping slash movies um, uh, annotations. Here in the constructor, I'm uh, just importing my service, which I'm going to present to you in a second. And I create one mapping, which is going to be our search by keywords for our movies. So call my, code, my method uh, get movies with keywords. And as you can see, I'm retrieving a pass variable called keywords here. And I have a, um, an optional request param called limit if I want to limit my documents. But as you can see, I, I have a default value to five if I want to. Now uh, I can switch to uh, my service. But just before, I can show you that I have some uh, exception handlers for uh, not found and for um, general errors, so internal server errors, right? So we can test those in a minute as well. Uh, in my service, uh, so I have a default interface that implements this method and an implementation here. Here, I need a few things. First, I need access to uh, the collection, which I create here in the constructor using the MongoDB template, the Mongo template, sorry. Uh, so as you can see, I just retrieve it. It's uh, auto-wired and it's created by the auto configuration from Spring Data MongoDB. And I retrieve it and use it immediately to create my movies collection. Now that I have, I have accessed my collection here and I also need the index, the name uh, from my index that I get from my application properties that I showed you earlier. And now I can uh, implement this method so as you can see, uh, to use Atlas Search, you need to use the aggregation pipeline from MongoDB. As you can see, it's right here. Uh, and I'm using three stages, search stage, project stage, and limit stage. Search stage, as you can see, it's a uh, search text field, uh, field path on the full plot only. And I search the keywords in this full plot. Here, I'm passing the index name as the option because you can have several uh, index names, actually, several different index with different names. So you have to specify which one you want to use, actually. In the projection, I just want to retrieve some fields and not the underscore ID. So here, I just exclude the underscore ID and I include title, year, full plot, and emdb.rating. And finally, in the limit stage, I just limit the number of documents I retrieve in the end. And that's it. I can just execute this pipeline. So collection aggregate pipeline into a new array list. I retrieve everything. If my list is empty, I throw the entity not found exception, which is going to raise the 404 error. And if not, I can just re re return my documents. And that's about it. I'm ready to, to use my service now. OK, so let's try this in production. So first, uh, I need to retrieve my um, connection string from MongoDB Atlas. So let's go back to MongoDB Atlas. Now, as you can see, my uh, index is created. I can click here on database, connect, driver, select Java, and retrieve my connection string. Click on close, go back to my code. So uh, here I open a new uh, console and uh, I can export my MongoDB URI equal this, and I need to change the username and password, which I created just for the demo. So it's demo123. Of course, it's just temporary user, so it doesn't exist anymore. So don't even try. And it wouldn't, wouldn't work anyway, because you don't have the uh, IP address uh, uh, authorized in my cluster. So yeah, it's safe. Um, OK, so I can create this. And now I can use uh, the uh, Maven wrapper that I have available in this project. And I can say, for example, Maven uh, wrapper clean, um, clean um, spring boot run. So it built everything, compiled, and now it's running. Perfect. OK, now let's uh, give it a try. So first, uh, I told you I wanted to show you um, uh, Swagger. So if you check in the readme, at the bottom here, you have uh, access to Swagger 3. So if I click here, and I go back to uh, my um, Google Chrome, 
Here you can see you have access to the uh, Swagger interface and we find our get root. I can say I want to give it, try it out uh, with some keywords. So let's say uh, I want to try Indiana Jones with a limit of five, why not? Click on execute. And as you can see, I retrieve one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five documents. All good. And I got, of course, uh, an answer of 200. Great. Um, let's get back in the code. And I want to show you here that you can also execute this with curl. So I'm just going to copy paste my command so I don't mess it up. I'm going to open a new shell. So here I'm also doing uh, Indiana Jones uh, research with a limit two this time. So here I have a code 200 and I have one, two documents. If I want to try the uh, 404, I can search for something that does not exist at all. For example, z, 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 z. And as you can see, I have 404 error. So that's my uh, exception handler. And here I have a, a, an, error, uh, an, error, uh, an error object. And if I want to make the server crash, so I can try Indiana Jones again, make a space encoded. And I can try here to type a wrong limit. So for example, uh, <laughs> uh, fail. And that's gonna break the server because I have a parsing error uh, by default. And it's gonna say internal server error, for example. So again, I can test that I have my error 500 and my internal server error. So there, that's it. As you can see, it works. And we got this working in a few seconds. So thank you very much for uh, checking out this video uh, entirely. Again, check out the blog post. Uh, it's uh, full of uh, good advice and full of uh, details about um, MongoDB um, Atlas search. Uh, thank you very much for checking out this video and see you in the next one. Bye.